A cross-section of political leaders drawn from the South Rift region are in consultation with the Kipsigis Council of Elders to seek the way forward on which presidential candidate they will support during the 2017 general elections. The leaders are expected to make the major announcement in two weeks' time. Here is that report. As the August 8th election draws near, political alignments continue to be the order of the day as candidates and parties alike rush to meet the set IEBC deadlines. The Kipsigis community, led by their elders, are currently in talks on whom they will endorse as the presidential candidate ahead of the polls. The National Secretary of Kipsigis Community Clans, Joel Kimeto, confirmed that they have already endorsed Isaac Ruto to handle political matters, adding that they will make a major announcement in a fortnight on whom they will endorse for presidency. We support the parliamentary system of government. We will support and campaign for... Jubilee leaders from West Pokot County have castigated the opposition coalition NASA for being ill-prepared for the upcoming general elections. The leaders accused NASA of causing anxiety and misunderstanding on matters related to elections in a bid to derail them. Led by Pokot South legislator David Kosing, the leaders alleged that NASA was not ready for the August elections, hence their constant finger pointing at the electoral body's unpreparedness. I want to tell Kenyans for record that the people who have caused this anxiety and wrong preparation of, 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 of election is NASA. According to Kosing, the opposition was worried about the outcome of the polls, hence their spirited attempt to block auditing of the electoral register and procurement. Kosing alluded to the fact that Jubilee was well prepared as they already knew who their presidential candidate and his deputy will be. He insisted that the opposition was unable to pick its presidential flag bearer and... Jubilee party leaders have been urged to ensure the primaries are free and fair and aspirants who lose continue supporting the party. Speaking in Tarakanithi, Abraham Maruta, who is eyeing the gubernatorial seat in the county, said it will be unfair if aspirants who are given tickets based on their popularity. Here's more on that story. As the party primaries draw near, Various aspirants are expressing concern about whether the nominations will be conducted in a free and fair manner. Abraham Maruta, who's eyeing the Tarakanidhi gubernatorial seat on a jubilee ticket, called on all aspirants to remain peaceful and carry themselves in an honorable way. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jubilee Party Secretariat has announced it will not use the smart technology. And we'll be back after these messages.